with Rob Lewis, Jesse Simonson, two-minute drill. It's Florida week, Rob. Jeremy Pruitt, we had a 30-minute press conference. I can't say there was a whole lot of takeaways, but he was, uh, you know, uh, had a lot of praise for Kyle Trask, the backup quarterback who will start Saturday against Tennessee, and obviously has a lot of experience going up against Dan Mullen and Todd Grantham's defense. Yeah, I mean, kind of one of the biggest takeaways, I guess, you know, everybody wants to know how the backup's going to affect preparation. According, you know, who knows if that was the truth or not, but Jeremy was like, not at all. I mean, he, according to his takeaway from Saturday night, he felt Florida didn't change their offense and even – you know, kind of alluded to the fact that they may have executed a little bit better in, in the second half when Trask came in. Which a lot of Florida fans, I think, felt the same way with that comeback win. Also did talk about, though, you know, going up against Dan Mullen, kind of having that familiarity. But then a lot of praise for Todd Grantham's defense. Noted that they lead the country in sacks, have been good in the red zone. How important it is for Tennessee to run the ball on Saturday. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a lot of surprises for either one of these coaching staffs. I mean, they are intimately familiar with each other from the head coaches down to the assistants. I mean, Grantham, Chaney. Um, you know, all the way across the board. So, yeah, running the ball without quite, I mean, it, any, any Tennessee fans know, knows the stat historically, whoever runs the ball well in this game wins. I mean, that's kind of overblown. I think that's generally the case in any college football game. But on that front, I think Tennessee may be a little bit encouraged coming out of the Chattanooga game. Yes, it was Chattanooga, but Tennessee hasn't road graded anybody like that in a while. Elsewhere, uh, Jeremy Pruitt basically kind of no commented the Bryce Thompson situation, said he hadn't decided yet if, if Bryce, who remains suspended but is back practicing with the team, uh, would play or travel on Saturday, but did kind of again challenge Elante Taylor, uh, saying that whoever practices better is going to get the start, and that's why Kenneth George – earned the nod and played the majority of snaps with the ones on Saturday. Yeah, and if you look at it that way, I mean, Tennessee is the two guys who opened fall camp as starting quarterbacks are no longer in that position. Also, you know, in flux at the safety position with, with Theo Jackson making a move there. So, you know, going into your fourth game of the season, your secondary is pretty still, still pretty unsettled. Lastly here, Jeremy Pruitt did say that it sounds like Tennessee's probably going to run back the same uh, starting offensive line with Darnell Wright at right guard and Karon Calvert at right tackle. I guess the biggest takeaway, Rob, is that uh, said that there weren't a lot of middle errors, which is good for a freshman and a, and a, and a guy in, in Karon who hadn't played a whole lot of football. Yeah, and two guys who are playing different positions and they've been practicing primarily all fall camp. And we've seen Darnell at right tackle. We've seen Karon at, at right guard for the most part. They flip-flopped those guys. And again, I don't think they were perfect at all, but it just there, there seemed to be a different level of physicality there on that side of the ball. Tennessee won't practice today after practicing Sunday night. They'll be back on the practice field tomorrow. We'll have full coverage of VolQuest.com. Check out Rob Lewis's Four Downs later this afternoon. We'll have the podcast. Plenty of coverage coming up on the website.